For LA City Councilman Mitch Englander is now in the custody of the FBI. We're told he's accused of lying to agents in a wide ranging corruption probe of City Hall. KCO 9's Dave Lopez is live in downtown LA with the details. Dave? Well, it was 17 months ago that Mitch Englander stunned everyone and resigned his position as city council member, even though he had two years left, saying that he had a job in the private sector that was just, quote, too good to pass up. Today, he faced a judge. He faces the possibility of a long prison term. He's uh, ordered free on bail, $50,000 once his wife posts it, and he has to surrender the seven weapons that he has inside his home. Go ahead and, uh, open the 49-year-old Mitch Englander was a powerful member of the L.A. City Council. He's also a member of the LAPD Reserve Unit. And now he's looking at 50 years in federal prison if convicted for his alleged role in a scandal that has rocked City Hall and leaving many to wonder just how far will this go. In November of 2018, FBI agents raided the City Hall office of Councilmember Jose Rizar. Wezar has not been arrested as the investigation continues. Englander's name was never mentioned in that initial raid, but now he's under arrest, and Huizar's investigation by the FBI is ongoing. I'm here to, to work. I'm here to do my job. That was Huizar two weeks after the FBI searched his offices and his home, and that has been his standard answer ever since. Today, he had no comment about Englander's arrest. Englander, as well as Huizar, had been a member of the Plan and Land Use Management Committee, PLUM for short, the committee that oversees many of the major commercial and residential development projects in the city of Los Angeles. According to the indictment, a developer who had business in Los Angeles gave Englander a free trip to Las Vegas in June of 2017. The allegations, he also gave him 10000 in cash, $1,000 in casino chips, paid for Englander's party for a $34,000 bar bill, $2,481 dinner tab, and $300 for an escort. And he's accused of telling the businessman, don't say any of this to the FBI, especially about the massage lady. Englander adding, don't say it, don't mention, no, no, don't mention it. The attorney for uh, Englander did not go on camera, issued a written statement where she basically said that he has done a lot for the city and that he will overcome this obstacle, is the way she put it, with the help of his family. Also, John Lee was the chief of staff for Englander. He said today that he was in Las Vegas on the weekend in question, but he says that he did not get anything free. He paid for everything, was unaware of anything illegal that went on, and he also added that he is fully cooperating with this investigation with the FBI, and he's been interviewed at least four times. Again, Englander is free to go once his wife posts his $50,000 bond. Reporting live from outside the Roy Ball Center in downtown L.A., Dave Lopez, Kick Online News. All right, Dave, thank you. The